Hi, today we would like to present you one of our projects that we did for one our client. The, the background of the project is the following. Our client had um, uh, to work with uh, huge sets of data. These, uh, these sets of data, data were updated on a regular basis. Therefore, every, let's say, month he had to select uh, different subsets of data uh, create uh, different uh, Excel charts on those data and to send the, that those charts into power, PowerPoint presentation and send the presentations to his clients. Therefore, he created this um, uh, workbook with all the charts already ready. These, these charts uh, had as, their so as the source of their data uh, this area which he created by his on his own um, and basically this uh, all the workbook works in the following way I have to insert the uh, the roll number into this region let's say for example I insert uh, 61 62 63 and and 70 the formulas in this area which uh, serves as, as the data source for the charts collect all the necessary information from the rows that are inserted and uh, therefore we have all our charts already built. What we need now is to transfer them into PowerPoint presentations. Therefore, how actually our tool works? First off, it was necessary to select uh, the uh, rows that we are interested in. Having done so, we just simply have to run the function build charts. We have to select the, the target area where the rows number, row numbers will be inserted and we have to select uh, one of the charts available to us. The number, the, these charts can be uh, created by the client, can be added, can be deleted, therefore the tool is absolutely flexible about uh, these parameters. So we select one chart and we click select. And we see now how the whole application starts to work. Basically, we see that uh, these uh, charts are, crea are created and inserted into the PowerPoint presentation and we see that uh, within a matter of uh, 10 seconds we basically created this uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation with all the relevant charts with all the relevant data. Well, that is basically it. Thank you very much for your attention.